My name is Arthur Gilgreen. I'm a postdoctoral fellow uh, at the Department of Geography here at UBC. When I started teaching in 2010, my first semester, I was finishing a course in Introduction to Human Geography. And I noticed there was four of my students in the back of the class taking pictures. Uh, I thought, why would they stay after class and do selfies? So I walked to the back of the class, and it turned out they were taking pictures of the actual textbook. At that time, it was really hard to find anything in geography. So I really struggled. And it was only in 2014 that uh, BC Campus started to work on a geography open textbook. Since they've started their program, BC Campus Open textbooks are estimated to have saved students between 1.1 and 1.4 million dollars. I feel like my work with them is encouraging responsible pedagogy. It's encouraging a, adoption of open education principles and resources. Mm -hmm. um, there's now survey results that show that students in parts of the United States uh, and Canada may not take certain courses because they can't afford the textbook. So if we're if textbooks and other proprietary resources are hindering learning, then we're not being responsible in how we choose the textbooks and how we choose what students should read. And I think most of the open education resources um, literature has been focused on the economic benefits for students. And I, I think one part of the equation that hasn't been focused on enough yet, and what I want to focus on in BC campus, is the idea that adopting open education resources changes pedagogy. Right? We're no longer relying on the textbook that's been approved and reiterated through nine editions uh, with minor so-called improvements. We are now relying on a community of people who are collaboratively editing a text. It can actually help us reinvent some of the ways that we're teaching, um, and I believe it can open up a discussion with the students. Mm -hmm.